Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will see unit test and Azure function. So, unit testing is a fundamental part of an agile methodology, right? So, Visual Studio provides the test project template. We use this template to create the unit test for the applications, and then we can apply the same technique to testing for Azure functions. So, in the example that we are working on, we would like to implement the same policy for the Azure functions, right? So we will create a unit test project. So let me launch the Visual Studio and take it from there. So this is my existing Visual Studio. And uh, we created the project. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here to this and do an add and then add a new project. going to add a new project it will take some time so right in in the add a new project window I'm going to scroll down to the ext unit test project I'm going to write x unit test project dot net core I'm going to select it click on next then uh, in the name I would and I will do watch function test and then I'm going to keep the location same and I'm going to hit create button in here so now when the project has been added we right click the our watch portal function uh, project in the solution explorer and then select manage new git packages so this is the one that we just created and i will click on manage new git packages here click here so when i click there here it comes it took some time I'm gonna type in the browse tab and look for microsoft.asp.net core asp.net core MVC this is the package and I click on it I click on install it will take some time for to get installed like this you get this message is about to make a change I click on OK I accept okay successfully installed finished perfect okay after the package has been added and I will do this this is where I added the package you see this file unit test 1.csc I will right click on it and do a rename I will do watch function unit test I click on yes Now in the Solution Explorer window, under the Watch Function Test Project, I right click on Dependencies and click on Add Reference. In the Reference Manager window, select the Watch Portal function and click on OK. 
now I will add unit test to the watch info function. We can now add unit test to the test project. I want to ensure that the, this function always returns an OK response when a model is provided in the query string of a request and a bad response if the query string is empty or it doesn't contain the model parameter. All right, so to verify this behavior, we will add a pair of fact test to this existing uh, function test project. So I'll do this, I'll do cancel this. You go here. At the top of the file, I will add the using directives to the list. This file will, I will add at the top. these four lines and I will change the name of test one method to test watch okay I added these on the top and then I changed to the name of the test one method to test watch function success here and now in the body of the test watch function success method I will add the following code so let me copy it in here so this is what I added and so after you write the code right so you can contest and then you can see run all test okay so whatever test you have added they should all run successfully all right so there would be a test explorer that would launch and your test would be run and this will see you see the test explorer popped up and it will show you that if I have to run it on note see the build explorer would come up it will run it will show you the summary here, here, see, these are the three tests that are running, and I will show you if they were completed successfully or not. All right, and if you get a green check, if you get this, then it was good. If see, okay, it's still running. If you get this check, it was good. If you get this, it was bad or not run test. And now you have seen how to create a unit test project and implement unit test for an Azure function. Okay, if you have any doubts, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.